Hey guys. So, oh my goodness. After 45 minutes digging in there, finally got this guy out. Beautiful specimen. He's not too happy, obviously. That's why his mouth is gaping open and he's ready to bite. But yeah, got a nice agama here. And you can see it is a boy. You can see here the two hemipenal bulges. There and there. Below the cloaca. Yeah, I just wanted to show you. I think this was a a rock agama, I think, or a rock lizard, spiny-tailed lizard. I will write down in the description, or in the, I'll find out the scientific name and the species, a uh, common name, put in the video. But it's just a beautiful male specimen. You can see he even has blue on his back, just a few scales there, they're blue. These are kind of the breeding colors right now, you see a lot of them out in the gardens in the hot, dry areas, basking and bobbing and looking for females. It's quite an impressive animal. It's just since we're here doing it right now, for a lizard this size to hold it, I'm not going to start from the basic because he'll just jump out of my hands and cruise out of here, Mach 5. But this, um, for holding lizard, you just kind of take the animal like this. You have to make sure you have the lizard firmly. You want to hold him in your hands back legs hanging gently without too much pressure you want to rest your thumb over its head and you kind of clasp its body and you can't hold too hard never grab a lizard by the tail in this specimen the agama its tail breaks off here that's focused yeah i'm sorry it's right here focused. no it's all good so here is where the tail breaks off so we made sure we didn't do it like that this specimen here, is in this olive tree, and we chased him down and he quickly ran into here. And we spent 45 minutes gently prodding him, well, gently at first and then a bit more vigorously prodding him out. And without any damage to the animal, aside from a few small scales that were scraped off, unfortunately, uh, those will heal in, in the next shed. It's worth showing. Uh, we we successfully recovered the animal from the tree, and now we're showing it to you. And yeah, as you can see, like I said before, he's not very happy. I wonder what these guys eat in the wild as well, because I just noticed he has a very interesting set of teeth. That's good. If you can see here, on the top of his mouth, he has a set of little fangs. Two small teeth. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. They could be, maybe they're used for crushing into snail shells or something like that. He has his, his mouth is lined with the rest of the teeth. But those two teeth are very surprising to me. I don't know. They, they look like a very specific, they look like they have a specific function to me. So I'm curious to know what, they, what they're feeding on for that, with that function. So I guess we're just going to go let this guy go now. So 